So, um, let's uh, let's look. We're gonna write an equation. So, what is the equation? of the line that has a slope of negative four and passes through the point uh, negative one comma six. So now to write this equation, I need to know that this is M. This is the slope negative four, okay? This is y, x sub one, y sub one. By the way, guys, we're taking notes, so go ahead and close your Chromebooks. You can't see it on your Chromebooks, all right? Be 100% engaged on this stuff that we're doing. Take your notes. So now, to, to fill this out, to, to figure out what the equation of the line is, I'm going to use this formula. It's called the point-slope formula. Now, the reason it's called the point-slope formula is you need a point and the slope to finish it. So some of you go, Mr. Adams, you said it's the point-slope formula. Why do you write it down every time? Well because some of you guys need to see it every time, okay? So what I'm gonna do is wherever, so I've got y minus y1, well, what's y1? Six, and then m is negative four times the quantity x minus x1, but what's x1? Minus one. Now, that's probably not the best way to write it, but that's how Mr. Adams likes to write it, because I want to remember that my formula has a minus sign and that my value for x1, x sub 1, has a minus sign or negative sign, however you want to think of it. Technically, they're different, but you kids don't know the difference. So, um, And when you minus a minus, it becomes a plus. So now the next step is I'm going to distribute this 4 through the parentheses. Actually, no. Um, if I look in your multiple choice solutions, they just do this. And so that's all they want you to do. Now you can solve for the y-intercept, right? The slope-intercept form, but that is not what they're asking us to do. They're perfectly content with you leaving the answer in the point-slope form. Okay, any questions on that? This is for the old.